And I'm Casey Marler. First today on News Channel 11 and ABC Tri-Cities, another school shooting. Investigators say it happened at a high school in Great Mills, Maryland. Investigators say the suspected shooter died after the attack and two people suffered injuries. Mola Lange takes us to Great Mills High School. Police locked down the campus of Great Mills High School Tuesday morning after shots were fired. A male student produced a handgun and fired around uh, wounding a female student and a, another male student in a hallway of Great Mills High School just before classes begun. The school safety resource officer confronted the shooter. He pursued the shooter, engaged the shooter, during which that engagement he fired a round. And I am told that at 1041 a.m. this morning, the shooter was confirmed deceased. Ali Alamix arrived at school to see the chaos unfolding. And that's when you see cops and ambulances coming in and cops running towards the doors and just screaming, saying, everyone get down. School officials here say students were evacuated to a nearby high school to be reunited with parents. Robin London is waiting to pick up her son. I got a call from my 15-year-old son that goes to Great Mills High School and he said, Mom, come and get me. Somebody just got shot. And my heart dropped. ATF and FBI agents are here helping with the investigation. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, Great Mills, Maryland. Great Mills High School's principal told parents last month that the school investigated threats of a possible shooting and found they were not substantiated.